Unsworth with a shot, great save by Hislop. And Campbell's there for Everton. The on-loan striker refused to be denied. Now here's Gemmel chasing after the ball, does well, just manages to keep it in play, and still going, and down from the challenge from Lomas, and the referee is given a penalty. Michael Ball, 2-0. West Ham losing out in midfield once again, as they have done throughout the match. Campbell with the ball in, Hutchison! Scores against his former club. 3-0. Gemmel just laying the ball off. It's through to Campbell now. Good chance. His second, Everton's fourth. Remember the name, he says. West Ham's defenders will have nightmares about it. Everton just comfortably passing the ball around in midfield. They're in cruise control. Here's Campbell. Chance for the hat-trick. He takes it. Five for Everton, and that man has almost single-handedly saved Everton's season. Hutchison with a corner as the rain comes down. Jeffers is there! 6-0, and West Ham's misery is complete. And that's Everton's biggest win of the season and to think they'd only managed three goals here in total before the turn of the year. One more game left. Newcastle, don't mention the cup final United, might want to talk about defending at corners. Matt Elliott was given a free header here and it led directly to Muzzy Izzet opening the scoring. Let's not, though, undersell Leicester City. Shortly before half-time, Steve Guppy fed Tony Cotty, who then put his signature on a little masterpiece of a curling goal. The pain of defeat by Derby assuaged, mid-table respectability assured. We've got to another major cup final, uh, and now we're tenth in the league. So uh, we haven't got the fat, we haven't got millions of pounds to spend like most clubs, but uh, we do okay every season. And to guarantee us to be in the Premiership again next season, that's the most important thing. Meanwhile, not far away at Pride Park, there were one or two forwards who might be candidates for a Tony Cotty tutorial. This move went via Daryl Powell and Paolo Wanchop to Mikel Beck, and thence over the bar. But if that was over the top, what can you say about this in the game's dying seconds? If I agree not to name the guilty parties, you promise not to laugh. At Hillsborough, Sheffield Wednesday still needed to eliminate the outside possibility of last-day melodrama. Petter Rudy didn't ease any lingering doubts. Thim Yong had a chance to do better, and did, but not well enough to embarrass Brad Friedel. The second half was dwindling towards a goalless draw when Richard Cresswell rose above the occasion. His first goal since his move from York City made Wednesday safe and Liverpool sorry. Gerald Sinstad reporting, well, none of the top four were in action. The title race resumes with Manchester United's visit to Middlesbrough tomorrow. Southampton's first away win since November has left them firm favourites to survive. They're now quoted at 3-1 to one on to stay up. Charlton are 9-4 to four after their first win in six games. They have to beat Sheffield Wednesday next Sunday to have any chance of remaining in the Premiership. Blackburn are a remote 12-1 to one shot now to avoid...